Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. It is currently not even 6 a.m., like 5.30 in the morning. And we just got back from dropping Danny off at the airport for training. Um, that's hard. That's hard to say goodbye. I know he had a hard time with it too, saying bye to Charlie, and that made it hard for me to watch because I know like his heart was breaking. But pulled the band-aid off. He's getting on a plane here soon. And we're back home and Charlie's back in bed. I wanted to document kind of the different phases of this process of saying goodbye to your person for work and for, for us it's military and so sometimes those are longer trips than like your usual business trip um, and kind of what that looks like for the people that are kind of left behind um, obviously we're not like forgotten about but we're kind of left holding down the fort until he gets back and so I wanted to share what that looks like especially if you are someone that doesn't have like a lot of family in the area to help you. We don't, but we, we have a, a good community of friends, but it's a little bit different, like grandma versus your neighbor, you know? So this is day one, starting out bright and early. I think one thing I'm gonna have to get really good at really fast is being hyper efficient about how I use the cracks of my day. Like right now, I wanna go back to bed. It's dark, I've been up since 3 a.m. Work doesn't start till 10. <laughs> I don't wanna go back to sleep, but I have a video to edit that has to be uploaded tomorrow and it's a collab, so it has to get done. So it's gonna be a lot of self-discipline and hyper-organization. It's almost nine o'clock now. I've been editing for over three hours. Thank goodness. Charlie is still asleep. So I was able to get a ton done. I just have to finish uh, mixing the audio and then make a thumbnail and then hopefully get it uploaded so I can go up tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to work in like weird cracks in the early morning slash really late at night to get this done because <laughs> someone small would not have uh, been patient enough to hang out for this. So late update on day one. It is now the morning of day two. Day one day actually wasn't that bad. I kept really busy and it, it actually kind of went by really quickly. But day one night was not not my favorite at all. I don't like being in the house alone, especially with Charlie, because if something happens, what if I can't help her or save her? Or uh, So many horrible, horrible, horrible scenarios ran through my head last night that I was having the hardest time like putting them down. Like, ugh, so many, so many horrible things. I won't even like say them out loud because they're just too ugly. So with that in mind, I checked the doors and windows like a thousand times, it felt like, and then set the alarm on super mode and slept all the lights on downstairs. And that helped. So I finally got to bed like at midnight. Yay for being up 21 hours straight, but it is a new day and I'm going to try not to go back to that place tonight. I think that's gonna be my struggle with this is going to sleep. All right, it is Saturday. It's day three and I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop if I'm being honest. I was so nervous going into these next few months that I wouldn't be able to handle it and that I would be so overwhelmed with everything going on and my emotions about it that I would freeze. And so far it is day three, really big asterisk there. So far so good. I felt like I can get everything done. I have actually felt like I'm getting things done better 
or more efficiently or like on the timeline that I had originally set in my head to get them done. Whereas prior to this trip, I always felt behind. And I don't know if being behind was more like a feeling because I, I knew I had such a big thing coming up that I wasn't ready for. So I felt behind that way. But so far so good. Like I'm, I'm kind of holding my breath a little bit if I'm being honest. Like I, <laughs> I can like just see it right now like oh day three she's going great everything's awesome day seven the world's on fire i have a feeling there will be a few moments like that but today is actually a really good day i was a little bit nervous for the weekends because the weekends is usually when we have our family time and we go out for lunch or we go to the next town over to explore or, or things like that and that's not really happening today but i'm gonna kind of go with the flow and be adventurous here. Um, we've been so locked into just the same routine over and over and over because it's what works and that's, you know, when you have a baby, like a smaller baby, you end up doing that because your life's in these like two hour little increments that are really hard to plan like, adventures around. And now that she's getting a little bit older, it's kind of freeing that up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that she can just get in the car seat and go and that Danny's not here because he has some different interests than I do. I like to go explore and see new places and like go for hikes and find like cool little niche places. He doesn't really enjoy that as much. He likes to travel, but he doesn't like to just get in the car and go with no plan. He likes to know where he's going. So with that in mind, I think that's what I'm gonna do today. And we'll see how it goes. So while Charlie is still napping, still, I. I don't understand how she's still not, but it's almost been two hours. I'm going to get our bag ready so that when she wakes up, I can give her a bottle and we can just head out on our next grand mama bubba adventure. We are in the car. We are loaded up and it is hotter than hell outside. I have no idea where we're going, but that sounds fun. The light that we see closing in so fast ahead. It's hope, it's getting clear. The more I think of all the tough times we survived, the more it makes me smile. If nothing's broken us, you nothing ever will Cause dreams are hard to kill Are you ready to go? Are you go adventure? Let's go adventure Going on a trek A little tiny one, but Still good It is 98 degrees out here So that's why it's extra short today She's got her little canopy To keep her in the shade, but I figured we'd take a little stroll down to the river and see what that's about. The whole place is just this gray sand, and it's literally out in the desert in the middle of Idaho. Like, look at all that. That is sand dune. And it goes all the way from, like, past there all the way back over there. Yeah. Ooh. Going for a little walk down the sand trail here at the park. I feel a little bit crazy, but Danny got me this teeny tiny little wristband pepper spray. To have with me while I'm out doing things with Charlie by myself and I figured I might as well carry it with me here. Feels annoying to have to be so on guard but if anything ever were to happen to her and I wasn't ready for it or like ready to even try and be ready for it <laughs> I I don't know what I would do but I'm trying to do our best. What you doing back there? Are you adventuring? Are you an adventure baby? A little bit. At least you don't have to walk on sand. Hot sand. It's really hard to walk in sand. 
but I'm glad I'm wearing sandals so that my shoes aren't filling with sand. There's just a ever dumping and refilling layer of sand in my shoes. Oh. It's hot. It's very hot. I mean, I know it would be hot because it's 90, now 99. When I got here, it was 98 degrees and I'm in a giant sandbox. So, I mean, that's just gonna be warm. So we didn't stay out very long. We like, like went for like 15, 20 minute little walk, mostly because A, it was freaking hot and B, the sand is really hot. So when you're walking on it, your feet are like on fire. So I didn't want to get too far out and then have my feet be like pain in me and have to walk back with her and do all that. So we made a quick one, but it was fun to explore. It'll definitely be fun to come back here in the fall when it's not as hot and explore a little bit more. But with that in mind, time to take Miss Chunky Marie the Third home and figure out dinner. Good job. Good job putting it away. Yes. Mom. <laughs> you are crazy. So we made it home from the dunes just fine. She was super hungry when we got home, so I just made her some leftover pasta and zucchini that I had in the fridge, and she was happy with that. And now she is pulling out all of her books <laughs> and making them pile. But I guess that's what you do when you're little. So she'll hopefully go to bed in about an hour. And then I am tired <laughs> after that walk today. And then the second walk through the sand after that. So I think I'm going to try and go to bed early. Um, and I have no idea what tomorrow's going to look like. So I guess we'll see. So it's now Sunday. And I am so <laughs> like tired and mushy today. I had so much fun yesterday just kind of getting up and doing and going and doing whatever I wanted to be totally honest, you know, within reason with the baby, but it was fun. Like just get out and go somewhere and not know where I was going when I got in the car and then like end up somewhere kind of fun and, and explore for a minute. I hope this type of video doesn't bore you. I personally <laughs> love vlogs and things where people just sit down and tell me about their day and how they're feeling and their experience because it just makes me feel like I'm not alone. And uh, like, especially mom vlogs that way. Like, I feel like it's so easy to isolate yourself as a mom because there's so much going on. Like there's so many little tiny things that you're just juggling and keeping up in the air. And it's all for this person you love so much. So you're like so invested in making sure that you're juggling just so. And then if you take anything out of the routine, you add something into it, it kind of messes with the juggle and then it's a whole big mom guilt spiral from there. And so it's just easy to stay in your bubble because you know it's manageable. And I think it's time for me to get in my bubble a little bit and maybe make a new bubble. I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit more of a thing, especially while Danny's gone. Cause it's it's easier to talk to the camera when I'm by myself. <laughs> like, I know he's not judging me. He actually wanted to do a vlog channel before I did. He's super supportive and great about it, but I get so like, Ugh, when I know someone else is in the house, like listening to me talk to the camera. So with that, I'm gonna close out this video. So far, the first four days have been okay. We'll see what the next, <laughs> what the next uh, week is gonna look like. And I'll check back in with you guys as I go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.